In this video, we're going to look at jumper wire and how to make your breadboard nice and neat. Sooner or later, you're going to use breadboard to prototype a circuit. Let's have a look at this circuit. This is very simple, and while I won't go into what this circuit is, it should be pretty obvious, I want to have a look at these. Having longer than what's needed jumper cable on your breadboard is going to end up leading to a mess. So what you want to do is you want to make your jumper cable just the right length for what you need. Let's start by looking at how thick our breadboard is. Now most breadboard is about 10 mil thick and if we measure that you can see that this is about 9 mil. If we just assume that the little cliff in there is about 5 millimeters thick you can imagine that the wire that will have to hold into that clip will sink down that far. So at about 5 millimeters that's going to hold quite well. And if we have a look at the length of the exposed wire on that jumper wire, we can see that it's about five mil. Well, it's quite possible that the plastic has moved as the legs have been bent in preparation for insertion on this breadboard. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Anything plus or minus a couple mil around five mil will be just fine for this. What's important is that middle distance between the two legs. What we want to do is we want to make a jumper wire to go from our earth pin out somewhere to our breadboard pin. Let's say column C, our ground rail to the edge of column C. You can see that I'm giving it a little bit more space than what's needed. We need to add an extra 10 mil. That will give five mil either side for the leg. So if we push this out 15, so if we call that 25, so if we push this out to 25 mil, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, that'll do. And I quite accurately cut here. That's going to give us the size that we need. But now we need to put the 5 mil mark. Here's a little thing that I've made, and you can see that it clearly has a 5 mil mark between these two red sides. I've got my trusty blade here. Now you need to be careful when trying to cut off the plastic sheath off your wire because solid core wire is extremely easily damaged. If you push too hard, you're gonna put a nick in the metal wire and that's going to cause a weak spot and it's gonna shatter over time. So I'm going to lay down my wire here and I'm just gonna hold it in position and put my little blade over the edge and I'm going to very gently roll it back and forth. And you can see that there's a little mark there. So once you've made your little mark there, it should be easy enough with your fingers just to pull off and expose that five millimeter end there. You can see the little mark there. You can see that the wire is about the right length. You're going to have to bend these over at right angles. To make this easier, I like to use a pair of pliers. One half, and then the other half. You can see here, I've made it a little bit short, but that's okay, because we can just space that out and stretch it a little bit between A and C. So just remember the important part is measure the distance between the two points, add 10 mil, and then cut five mil off either side. So before long, you'll be doing nice, neat cutouts like this or like this. It's pretty easy and it really makes your work look very nice. 